Oh, uh, today we make making more stir fry again. And uh, uh, I'm trying to think, maybe there's some Chinese in my DNA. Got some chicken going here. Cut that up really thin. I'm going to show you the difference in the knives here in a second. Then I cut some beef up really thin. Cut that over here, cooked off. Then I got the vegetable here. I'm going to do a beef and broccoli and uh, chicken. Broccoli chicken here. I can do the same sauce because I don't feel like making all the different sauces. Now the key when you're doing a stir fry is get your meat already cooked most of the way. Then all you got to do is throw your vegetable in the skillet when you get it real hot, the, the wok there, and uh, throw your meat in there. And you ain't got to worry about being raw on you or nothing to make anybody sick. Uh, I always get a paper plate, and I do this. Uh, this is from the Dollar Tree, but I always get a pack of paper plates so when my prep, I don't have to clean all these plates at the end. I just throw these things away when I get done throwing them back in the wok there and cooking everything. And it makes my wife very happy. So I sent off on my family tree uh, DNA. From, uh, what's, the, what's the name of that uh, website? Uh, you know the one I'm talking about. I can't remember right now. But it said that I was 2% uh, Jew and 98% African. I think something went wrong there somewhere along the way. I, I don't look that way, but maybe the owner something. But my taste is for Chinese, so something is definitely fucked up with their DNA program. Oh, I know the name of that website was uh, Ancestry.com. That's the one my mother told me about. She, so she did hers. I did mine, my brother did his. We all come back all different. Um, now I know for sure that my great grandmother, because she was alive until I was about uh, 19 years old, and she was 100 when she died. And I know for sure she came from Sicily. I ate many meals she cooked. She had the accent. She came here in 19 and uh, 17 during World War I. And I know she's Sicilian. Although on that DNA ancestry, it showed nothing about Sicilian. And I know damn well she was. Uh, it also said I was uh, uh, English and German and a whole bunch of other shit. I don't believe them things because then my brother, which has the same mother and the same father, they say he's uh, like 40% Indian. I don't know what the hell these things. These things are bullshit if you ask me. Don't trust them damn DNA shit. It's bullshit. So I just picked my own DNA. I decided I am a Cajun coon ass uh, Chinaman. Yeah, that's right. It is what you you is what you eat. That's the saying. Now with my cholesterol medication, because I went to the doctor a few weeks ago and they said uh, my cholesterol is high, so I got on the medication. It's not too high, but a little high. So they gave me a small dose of medication, and then they said to get this here omega three, this fish oil, and then they said get this here fish oil here, another fish oil. So I think tomorrow, since I am what I eat, I might be swimming around here. I think I'm gonna turn into a fish. And I know I haven't posted any video in a few days. That's because I had a bunch of fucking uh, dental surgery done and my face is still pretty swollen in places. Uh, <clears throat> I'm having all kinds of stuff. They replacing teeth and implants and uh, I always had bad teeth and uh, now I'm paying the price. So make sure to take care of your teeth. That ain't no damn fun. Uh, there was a, a horrifying experience on Thursday when they were drilling and cutting and putting shit in my mouth and I, it was terrible. Okay, so here's the difference in all the uh, Japanese chef knife. I like the Japanese chef knife uh, a lot because it can cut vegetable very fast. Now, you see this one here has the hole in it. And the reason it has the hole, this is the one you use when you're cutting meat. Because you cut it really thin and the air gap in between there will keep the meat from sticking together so you can slice very fast. A lot of people don't know that. They say, why does that knife got a hole in it? And that's the reason why. And these are the ones you use for your vegetable. That's the one you use for your meat. So that's just a little informative thing for you guys today. Now I bought these spring roll here at the Dollar Tree when I was at the Dollar Tree picking up some uh, paper goods and all. And I'm a little, I'm a little bit concerned here because uh, I usually don't buy a lot of food from the Dollar Tree. So I'm hoping that this shit don't kill me. But if it do, it was good knowing you. And this here say uh, no cholesterol and no MSG added. Whatever the hell that mean. Add it after what? After they put a bunch in there? I don't know. But anyway, it says no cholesterol, so that's good. Because I'm trying to eat a low cholesterol diet. Okay, so for the sauce, we're going to use the oyster sauce and the hoisin sauce mixed together uh, for our stir fry.
I mean, hell, when you think about it, these things are 10 for a dollar. That's 10 cents. If they make a turret, they're pretty good. Okay, so now one of the secret ingredients I have here is I have a... Uh, I like to keep some salt around. This is a smoked salt over here. And this is a... Uh, sriracha salt. It's a spicy salt. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of that... Uh, that sriracha salt over into the vegetables. I find this stuff all over weird stores, so I don't know where I got this at. I've had it for a little while, but sure you can find it if you look for it. Okay, so I had that stir fry for about four minutes. Now it's time to add the, uh, the beef and the chicken in there. Look how good that looks. I ain't got no sauce or nothing yet. I'm about to add the sauce in there, but that shit looks good and smells good as a motherfucker. And there we go. We had a little sauce in there. We have some steamed rice. I'm about to fry off them uh, spring rolls. Okay, so them looking pretty good. We're going to see what they taste like. Okay, so I fried them in uh, canola oil. And um, I've heard all kinds of stories. I always was told canola oil is the best oil for you. Uh, it has zero cholesterol, so that's good. It has uh, uh, no trans fat. So that's what I use to fry them, uh, them in. And here's one more thing I like uh, with my Chinese food. The wonton wrap. And what I do with these, you see these sometimes at the Chinese buffet. I like to cut them in a strip and fry them up like a little chip to use in my Chinese food. And there we go. This when they all cooked up. Okay, so I got one of them. Uh, this is from the Dollar Tree, the spring roll. I don't put any sauce or anything. I'm just going to try it straight up and see what it tastes like. It don't have a lot of flavor, but it's not bad. Um, not too bad. For, not, not for 10 cents. Really good for 10 cents. All right, you motherfuckers have a good day. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.